The World Robot Conference 2022 was held in Beijing, and due to the ongoing offline pandemic, only Chinese robotics companies were represented, while the rest of the world joined in the online format. However, the Chinese booths were also, as always, a lot to see, and we gathered the most interesting things from the world's largest robot exhibition in today's video. Let's dive in. One of the most striking booths was at X Robots, which is the leader in the research and development of intelligent humanoid robots in China and also maintains a leading position in the world for bionic skin and the mass production capabilities of bionic robots. The company combined humanoid robots and meta-universe technology to create the Science and Technology Museum of the Future X. They brought humanoid robots resembling scientist Albert Einstein and Teresa Tang and Taiwanese pop singer Teresa Tang to the exhibition, as well as a sympathetic robot and a robot avatar. Our method of creating Exorbots has been around for a long time. Another robot, according to developers, was created to understand human emotions and respond to them accordingly. The anthropomorphic X robots have up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their bodies, and they're equipped with independently developed ROS operating systems. The robot's torso and limbs are controlled by dozens of flexible actuators, making their movements and facial expressions more realistic. Cloud Mining Technology, a Chinese developer of humanoid service robots and facial recognition systems, brought Cloud Ginger X Roan, which entertained the visitors of the exhibition with its dancing. The robot can move smoothly thanks to 34 smart, flexible joints in the neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and arms, as well as the waist and knees, all equipped with multiple 2D and 3D cameras, litter, ultrasonic sensors, microphones, a tricycle chassis, and universal wheels Cloud Ginger can also sing, move autonomously, and avoid obstacles. The graceful robot humanoid is 158 centimeters tall and weighs 65 kilograms. It has a rather attractive appearance, which made it the winner of the Chinese Red Star Design Award in 2020. The robot can listen and speak, and the possibilities are kind of endless for this type of humanoid. From education and care for the elderly to service in hotels and business centers, Participation in advertising and promotions unit events and entertainment shows Unit Tree Robotics exhibited several Robopod models at once and opened the show with a grand dance show of 100 Go Dogs. The company also specializes in creating cloud based systems and terminals for remote control smart robots, various programs, and platforms for training artificial intelligence development and cloud security. We are a Hangzhou based unitary company. It's been about six years since we were founded and we have an extremely diverse product line. There are small, medium, and large dogs, and they all have different applications. Take the small dog, for example. They are used for research, education, entertainment, and escorting. They can be guide dogs for the blind, or they can help take care of elderly people at home. Medium and large dogs are mainly used for patrols and inspections at petrochemical plants and power plants. Robots go one went on sale publicly only a year ago, and the company has already been able to sell about 10 zero copies. It's worth mentioning that Unitary Robotics is so far the only Chinese manufacturer of robots that's received the European, North American, Japanese, and other quality conformity certificates. All of the company's robots can be equipped with additional equipment, including a manipulator. An underwater bionic robot was demonstrated by the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. The G-3 underwater intelligence bionic robot developed by Kasich is mainly used to popularize scientific achievements presented at the exhibition. The G-3 is made in the form of a spineless porpoise. There are two variations with lengths of 1.2 meters and 0.5 meters. On a single charge, these robots can work for 8 and 4 hours, respectively. Beijing Polytechnic University showed its developments, including a bionic arm, a jumping robot dog, and an anthropomorphic robot that, according to its creators, can run at a maximum speed of 7.3 kilometers per hour and jump at distances of 1.6 meters in length and 53 centimeters in height. Direct Drive brought to the exhibition its mobile two-wheeled robot, Diablo, on engines with direct drive. The Diablo combines the features of a traditional wheeled AGV in a multi-leg robot its legs can bend and straighten independently of each other due to its design. The robot, weighing 23 kilograms, can jump up to 8 centimeters 
and the maximum height of jumping on the spot reaches 14 centimeters. And it remains stable when overcoming obstacles with a height of 5 centimeters.